Hey guys and welcome to Qualification. Today I will do something a little bit different because uh, many of you have asked a lot of questions and I heard a lot of feedback that I'm not talking enough and I'm showing too much. So today I will try to talk a little bit more about my life in uh, New Zealand and if you guys like it maybe I will do more stuff like this later on. I have some stuff uh, written down, the most asked questions and stuff, so I will just jump into it. First of all, uh, going back to my very beginnings here, I will talk a little bit about finding an apartment in New Zealand because it's pretty goddamn difficult. The thing is, New Zealand is a very small country and there are a lot of new people coming in because uh, they really need new workforce and stuff. So uh, the housing market is really like overpopulated with people wanting to find a place in comparison to houses available. It means that to get a house you need to go to a viewings. Normally on one viewing there are, there are like five to ten people and there are several viewings for each apartment and then the owner of the apartment needs to choose amongst a lot of people that applied for it the one that will get uh, a place so i viewed more than 20 apartments to find this one which i'm very happy with it was really painful experience especially that many of those houses are in very bad condition there is mold on walls they smell very bad there is no sun uh, i don't understand how stuff that bad can be that expensive because yeah of course the houses are very freaking expensive in New Zealand and that's one of the most expensive things here on the market really close by to a second one that you don't really need in everyday life because who would need food yeah guys food uh, uh, food is like crazy expensive here especially the good quality food if you want to eat like fast food and stuff a pre-processed food it's all cheap if you are looking for vegetables and fruits and stuff like this uh, which i'm basing my cooking on mainly it's really difficult to find something cheap but there are exceptions such as uh, weekend uh, food markets which i'm going to regularly which are like one day markets set up on parking lots and they set and sell fruits and vegetables uh, very cheaply and that's where I'm buying them. The problem is the quality of those is also sometimes questionable so you have to have really good eye to pick the good stuff and the leave uh, the bad stuff. If we are on the topic of food there are a lot of drawbacks but there are also a lot of pluses when it comes to food and dining culture in New Zealand because as I said before there are many many people coming into the country many Im immigrants from all over the world uh, mainly Pacifics and uh, Southeast Asia but as well a lot of like British Crown countries which would be United Kingdom and Ireland uh, also Australians so there is a very strong mix here basically eating out is really easy really affordable and really nice especially if you love uh, asian kitchen like me then you can go just wild when it comes to my apartment it is uh, very centric close to one of the most culturally uh, important streets of wellington called cuba street so it means that in a 10 minutes radius of my apartment, I get uh, British fish and chips, American uh, burgers, Malaysian, Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, Filipino food. It's crazy. It's such a big selection. And I didn't even mention like the usuals, which would be like pizza and McDonald's and whatever the hell, which are not that important, but like if you like Asian kitchen you would be in heaven. I mean I have my ramen place right now, I have my sushi place, I have my Vietnamese pho place. It's perfect when it comes to this. Moving on, talking about the diversity. There is a big boiling pot of people here from all around the world and it's really awesome because it does not make me feel like an immigrant here at all. If you look uh, on the streets you don't really uh, see that much of original kiwis that 
came from Britain anyways and when it comes to Maori it's such a minority that you rarely see them. I would say on the street like 10% of people you see is Maori. So uh, what it means is that people are naturally very open to different uh, cultures and not very judgmental which is uh, very very nice. I heard a lot of opinions that Kiwis are sort of kind of racist I didn't experience it at all but, but of course who am I to say because uh, yeah my skin is white so I wouldn't know the country is really open and uh, this is really nice but there are also some things uh, when we talk about people and their openness that I feel especially in New Zealand is pretty superficial a lot of people especially like natural born kiwis they will act like they are your best friends ever like we should hang out come by my place all that stuff but the problem is they don't really mean it they just say it and it's part of the culture that i didn't yet get quite used to because i'm quite uh, honest and straightforward person and stuff like this seems a little bit odd for me but that's just me and it probably takes some time to get uh, used proof how and friendly people here are. I have one story from the time I just moved into this apartment. The problem was I didn't have internet yet uh, and to get it installed I had to wait a week and it would be very difficult for me to contact uh, my family and stuff so I just went to my next door neighbor and uh, she gave me her Wi-Fi password without any problems smiling all the time we had a nice conversation so uh, this superficial openness, let's say, can be very beneficial at times and it is really helpful. And this is also one of the Kiwi traits, that they are really helpful for each other and they will not leave you uh, when you are in need, and which I find very nice. Other example of that are the homeless uh, people begging on the streets. Usually in Poland they are front upon them, uh, and here people are really friendly towards them. They stop, they give them coffees, they chat with them and stuff like this. So this is really interesting. One of them just popped out uh, on my way to work uh, recently and every time you pass him he says something like wake up, wake up. It's really weird uh, but it has this Diogenes vibe, the philosopher from the ancient Greece, which I really liked to be honest. Another thing uh, New Zealanders are pretty crazy about and it's really uh, visible especially in workplace is the internet site staff, co.nz, uh, which has daily quizzes posted every morning and evening. Every office I have been to, and I have been to three already, has the time that everyone meets all together and they are trying to solve this quiz together, which I found really nice and uh, like team building. Of course, I'm very bad at, at those quizzes because like half of the questions are about the New Zealand government or the royal family, which I know nothing about, but it's fun nevertheless. Uh, to finish up, I will talk about a uh, weather a uh, little bit. Uh, for now, in Wellington, since I came, it was winter all the time. So I didn't move in a perfect uh, time of year. But actually, it is ending right now, so I think it will get better and better. And I already feel it getting better because the spring is upon us. But um, basically, the Wellington winter means uh, something around 10 degrees but super strong winds and a lot of rain. That's uh, what I had to face and that, uh, for example, we can see on my marathon movie where I'm just running through wind and rain and powering is true. But, uh, as I said, the spring is upon us right now and the weather is getting way better, more sunny. I think it will only get better and I can't wait for the summer, which is supposed to be 20 something degrees and a lot of sun which is for me perfect because I don't like too hot places. Anyways, winter here is not very strong and it's like very rarely slash never goes below zero degrees even in the night. So it's nice in that regard. And it's nice also because houses here are built very poorly. They don't have double glazed windows. They don't have central heating. So if it would get any colder, 
I would be freezing here. I had to buy an electric heater anyways, just to get by uh, in the coldest months, but I don't use it anymore. So yeah, guys, uh, that's uh, first Kiwi talk, let's say. And uh, I will continue to do those if you have more questions to be answered. So uh, if you do, please write them down below in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. But now it's time for an announcement uh, for those of you that stayed that long to hear it. I will not be posting anything for next four weeks because I'm heading out to US for an awesome road trip that I can't wait for. And that was my dream for longest of times. And I'm not uh, gonna take my computer with me to uh, edit uh, films, but when I get back, prepare to get flooded by US movies uh, on Qification channel. This is all. Thanks for watching and see you guys uh, in four weeks. Cheers.